Hello everyone, this is The Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another very informative tutorial here on YouTube. So, uh, as you can see, we are using QGIS again or Quantum GIS as some of you might call it. It's an open source free software that you can get right now by just typing QGIS in uh, the Google search bar and you can download it and install it for free. Some of you might think that free means it's not good, but that's not the case for this software. I use it for, you know, uh, a lot of uh, commercial projects for a lot of clients around the world, and I get a lot of good results with this software. So, uh, now we are going to continue where we stopped from the previous tutorials in which I showed you how to extract the topography from uh the internet and use a topography for free and how to clip it if your client is actually interested in it. just uh, a chunk of that topography and in this tutorial i'm going to show you another trick it might be useful for some of you in the future which is sometimes like your so you got this topography and you want to use it in in other softwares or you want to take a look at the the data or you can uh, do some sort of analysis or whatever so you might be interested in point data so you're not interested actually in uh, the uh, you know you're not interested in the different contours like lines in here you're actually interested in point data so uh, if we go to the attribute table in here you can see that we have the elevation and we have an ID and what we need to do is to have point data with x, y, and that elevation. So you, m you might have a software that only read, you know, ASCII file or DXT files, or you have your own purpose to uh, do this uh, thing. So now what we can do to this or to convert this one into point is we are actually going to get all the different vertices. So what is a vertice? So uh, as you can see that, for example, we have uh, this uh, line here. It is actually composed of different vertices. These points are what makes this whole line. So we want to get these points as a standalone points in a new uh, shapefile, point shapefile, which will have the X, Y, and Z, and we can export that as a CSV file or whatever we want. So how to do that? It's really simple. We are interested in vector file. So what we can do is to go to vector, and then we go to here to geometry tool, and we choose extract vertices. So we want to extract these vertices. Select that, and we need to specify which uh, layer we're interested in. It's going to be this one, and let's go and run that. Very simple, and you can see now we have these lines as points. We extracted all these vertices, and the cool thing about this is if we go to the uh, attribute table, you'll notice that we have a bunch of other information. So you might be interested in the distance or the angle between these points. So for example, we have these two, but we're not actually interested in that. We're interested only in the elevation. So what we can do to get the uh, X, Y, and Z is to calculate them based on the data that we, uh, that we have. So what we can do is let me just... Uh, let me go and grab this. Let's show you how I got that. So open attribute table. And it might take some time because we have a lot of points now. So what we can do is to edit this and we can delete the columns that we're interested in. We're not interested in. So we will delete the ID uh, and all of these different, uh, you know, um, attributes. It might take some time also because we are uh, having a lot of, you know, uh, points. And we need to wait for that. And this is, should take a little bit of uh, time. And it's loading. So I'm going to pause this until the uh, one. Oh, there you go. I'm not going to pause that. So we have the elevation in here. 
And what we can do to calculate the x and y is to go to the uh, the field calculator or press Control I. Okay, that's the field calculator. And what we want to do is we are going to create a virtual field. Let's call this x. And we want it to be not a whole number, so it's not going to be 1, 2, 3. It's going to be uh, uh, an uh, and uh, actually a decimal number. And let's go and search for the attribute inside the geometry. We're interested in a geometry. And we want to calculate the x. So you should pick not this one, this one, the x, this one, which means uh, the software is going to give you an idea how this works. So the x is going to be the, give you the coordinate, the x coordinate of that specific point. So uh, we get that in there. And here we have an example of an uh, x based on the data that we have. We're happy with that, so we don't see an error in here. So for example, let's say, let's add a point. You can see that uh, the expression is not valid, so this is not going to work. But in our case, it's actually giving us a preview in here, so that's the x that we want. Click on OK. And uh, again, we wait a little bit, and the software generates the x coordinates that we are interested in. Now let's go and do the same thing for the y. Create a virtual field, call this uh, y, and let's make that a decimal, and let's type our, our ourselves now. It's the dollar uh, sign, and then we type in y. And we have here the y coordinate. And let's go and click on OK. And now it might take some time again based on the number of points. And now we have x, y, and z for these points. Let's close this. And uh, let me cancel this. And now let's save these. And now you can see that we have the x, y, and z for all of these points, x, y, and z. And as always, you can right click and you can export. Uh, you can export this as, for example, a CSV file or whatever uh, you want. So that was it about this tutorial. By the way, I've noticed that most of the people who are watching my video are actually not subscribers. So our channel, we cover only related subjects to the GIS, mining industry, geology, and geoscience in general. So this channel is 100% for you. Make sure to subscribe like this video and check out our other videos and see you in another tutorial.